Hi, this is Wendy, and this is a tutorial for a star stitch baby blanket in two colors. To do the star stitch blanket, you're going to need to start with an even number of chains. I would recommend 120 chains for a baby blanket that's going to be about 30 inches wide. I'm just going to do a sample size here to show you, but uh, to get a 30 inch by 40 inch blanket, start with 120 chains. I have worsted weight yarn here. I'm going to use a purple and a white and a four and a half millimeter crochet hook. If it's your first time doing star stitch, I recommend that you go over to my dedicated tutorial on that. That really slows it down. Um, you could consider this more of a refresher course, but if you find that this moves too fast, go over to that one and then, and then come back and this will make more sense. All right, so when you have your hook, your yarn, and your 120 chains, we're going to begin. The star stitch begins by picking up five more loops. So skipping the first chain, go into the second chain and pick up a loop, the third, fourth, fifth, and the sixth. So you will have a total of six loops on your hook yarn over again and pull it through all six loops. Then close it up with a chain. That's the bottom part of your star. Now the next part is the tricky part, but once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. Go into the center of the star, so right next to your hook, where all those uh, loops come together, draw up a loop, then go into the very first leg of the star, or the last leg, but anyway, the one on the end. Go under both sides of that stitch, and if you find that it's tricky to get the back one, just go under the front one. It's not going to make any difference. After the first row, it gets a little easier to pick up both sides of that stitch. So, one in that front leg, one in the base of that leg, so in the last chain stitch that you picked up, and then two more chains. So you'll have six loops on your hook. Once again, draw up a loop and go through all six. Close it up with a chain. Into the eye of the star or the middle of the star, pick up a loop. The front leg of the star, pick up a loop, the foot of the star, so that chain right here at the base of the star, and two more chains. If you make sure this last one's not too tight, that will help to grab it later on when you try and go into it. Through all six, close up your star. Into the middle, the leg, the foot, and two more chains. Close up the star, the middle, the leg, the foot, two more chains. Just continue like that down to the end of your row. I'll join you there. At the end of your row, you will be at the end of the chain and you're going to do a half double crochet in that same last chain. So at the foot of the star, do a half double crochet. Yarn over, through the chain, draw one up, yarn over, draw through three for a half double crochet. Now we're going to go on to row two. It starts with a chain two. All of the rows in the star stitch start with a chain two. Turn. Now we're going to put two half double crochets in the eye of each star. They're a little harder to see from this side. But if you flip over, 
we're looking for those spaces where those loops come together. From the top, you can kind of see that there's a big loop, or a big V and a small V and a big V. We're looking for the small V. And if you pull it apart, you can kind of see where those, where those holes are, right? There and there and there. So we want two half double crochets in each of those spaces. So yarn over into the work, pick one up, yarn over, draw through all three. Yarn over into the work, pull one through, yarn over, go through all three. And if you flip it to the other side, you can see that makes the top part of your star. It's such a pretty stitch. I really like it. It's very interesting. So two double crochets in the center of each of those groups that you made in the last row. And I'll join you at the end of the row. At the last star, you'll notice that you're not quite at the end. There's one more stitch waiting there at the end. We are going to do two more half double crochets in that last stitch. Like so. Now we want to switch colors. So I'm actually going to back up because as you know when you switch colors you need to do that on the last pull through. So I'm going to undo that last half double crochet and when it comes to the last pull through I'm going to do that with the white and that sets me up to start the next row. Got a bit of a loose turning stitch here but once I put a border around it that will not matter. Okay, again, chain two to start the row. And now we go back to the bottom half of the stars. Isn't that pretty? So we're gonna go back and do like we did in the lower half of the stars here. But of course, we're not working into a chain this time. We're working into these stitches. So again, second chain from the hook. Pick that one up. Just go into the back of that chain like so. And then underneath both sides of the V's, pick up another four. You'll know you're done when you have six loops on your hook. Draw a loop through all six. Chain to close. And just like before, into the middle of the stitch and pick one up. Into the front leg of the stitch, under both sides of it if you can, pick one up. Into the foot of the stitch, pick one up. And two more stitches, like so. So you have six again. Draw through all six, close up with a chain. One more time. In the middle of the stitch, the front leg of the stitch, the foot of the stitch, and two more steps. Draw through all six and close. Continue like that to the end of the row. And then do a half double crochet at the foot of the last stitch like we did before. Okay, so that's two half double crochets in the middle of each star and then two in the very last stitch. On the second one, I'm going to switch back to the purple yarn. Just pick it up from behind and pull it through on the last pull through. And later on, we'll go around and do a border and cover over all of those carryovers. And then it's just a repetition. Two purple rows two white rows, two purple rows and two white rows. I'll do that several times so that you can see how it looks as a whole sample here and then we will do a border. I hope you're enjoying this project. 
and I hope the star stitch is becoming a favorite of yours too. And there you have it, the star stitch baby blanket in two colors. I actually prefer it in a vertical orientation, I think. And if you want to do that, just start with 160 stitches instead of 120 and work it 40 inches tall and 30 inches wide. When you get to the end of the last row, oh, here's what it looks like on the back, in case you're wondering. When you get to the end of the last row, to do a border, what I like to do is simply turn to the side and work three single crochets in each stripe across. That should give you about the right number of single crochets to do one more sequence across the side of the star stitch. Make sure that it comes out to an even number and add two chains at the end, turn and simply do two more rows to form a row of star stitch along the edge. And there it is with the star stitch border. Do the same thing on the other edge and your star stitch baby blanket will be complete. I think this is just an adorable stitch and I hope that you have found that it's not as complicated to do as it looks. Thanks for joining me for this project and have a super day.